APC Chairman Adam Sushomale asked senators on the platform of the party to explore legal means of impeaching the Senate President Bukala Saraki. He says Saraki must be impeached. The Inspector General of Police alleges that the sacked Director General of the DSS Lawa Dora may have indeed acted without approval in the deployment of the operatives of his operatives to the National Assembly. Many well, thanks for joining everyone. This is Politics in the Live on Channels Television. I'm sure Kim Aloye in Lagos. The 2019 election is 189 days away, but there are by elections in Bauchi, Cross River, and Ocean State. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has continued to intensify effort in ensuring that all is set for the exercise in the September and the governorship election also in Ocean State. We'll be talking about the crucial preparatory events leading to these target elections and the general one in 2019. Eight days from now, party primaries for the presidential governorship, federal and state elections will begin. That is according to the INEC timetable. But as observed in recent political events, party primaries have been riddled with chaos, manipulation, inducement, which is threatening the principle of Internet democracy. Dr. Muiz Banire, a senior advocate of Nigeria and a former legal advisor of the APC and other speakers at the lecture of the United Action for Change, UAC, opposite that a lot more it needs to be done to instill discipline in the political atmosphere. Before the primaries and congresses, you will have to submit to Ireland, the names of the committee statutory set up by the relevant organ. <laughs> Number two, you will have to set up your own internal guidelines. Number three, those are going to set up to monitor the exercise. There must be it is a very, very apt topic for our CC. If you recognize the fact that the election is around the corner, particularly the nomination process, that is the primaries of political party will commence shortly, like right they said, in the next nine days. We believe that it is essential to educate and enlighten the people on what the process is and the implication of not ensuring compliance with the procedure. And now to issues in Ekiti State. The People's Democratic Party, in that sense, uh, has served the notice of petition to the All Progressive Congress APC and its candidate in the Ekiti governorship election through substituted means. That's what the party says. They say that the PDP legal team claimed that the APC candidate in the poll had been evading the service while the party say sector is on the lock and key. The election petition tribunal However, granted a leave to the PDP and its candidate to serve the notice through substituted means by pasting the notice at the court premises and courier services on the respondents. The petition is in the open space. We have filed it. You are all accessible to it at the tribunal. You will be there when evidence is being led, and I can assure you that justice will be done at the end of the day. You are all aware that we got with the APC locked up their state secretariats in order to evade service. But, you know, Yoruba say, Mashegbonli or Kolagbonli Ali, they first they could waste time by evading service. But we went back to the tribunal to get an order for some service. And as I tell you now, as I speak with you, I can assure you that effective, regular, and valid service of the petition has been effected. I don't forget since we the elections were over, I'd gone on holidays myself. I know the governor elect went on holidays too to actually take a rest. And I believe every well meaning party member who had put a lot into this election, 
would like to take a rest. So it is very likely if you get to the party secretariat and you don't meet anybody there, the chairman and the rest of the ESCO members who did wonderfully well to actually get this party to where it is now could have been on holidays. But I can tell you if there is any situation of bringing any case to us or any files to us or file anything with us in the party, we would not refuse. Investigative report submitted to the acting president by the Inspector General of Police is alleging that the sacked Director General of the DSS, Mr. Lawadora, may have uh, indeed acted without approval in the deployment of the operatives of the DSS to the National Assembly in the interim investigation submitted to the acting president. The IGP for its alleged claim that he deployed the DSS operatives based on intelligence report regarding plans to smuggle dangerous weapons and incriminating items into the National Assembly complex without sharing such information with the acting president, the police or other sister security agencies. In his recommendation, the police boss asked that the DSS operatives that took part in the National Assembly operation be released to the police in investigating uh, team for questioning. He also recommends the search of the houses and premises of all the suspects in the matter for thorough analysis of all gadgets and devices found.